Let's take a look at the typical structure or layout of a Spring Boot project. If you are familiar with Apache Maven, this project structure should look familiar. Yes, a Spring Boot project is actually a Maven project. You saw the Maven option when we created this Spring Boot project. So, let's take a look at the product structure. It is important to understand how Spring Boot organizes your files. Your source code is placed under SRC, main, Java. Test code is placed under SRC, test, Java. And non-Java resources, for example, property files, HTMLs, JavaScript, CSS, are placed under SRC, main, resources. Within this product structure, you will want to take note of the following items. Under main Java, there is already a package. Inside this package, you will find the main application class. Spring Boot Hello World application. This is the Spring Boot main class that bootstraps the entire project. Think of it as the entry point of your Spring Boot application. You can start the Spring Boot project by clicking the play button next to the main method or the play button next to the class name. Or just click the play button right here. Under resources, there is an application.properties file. This file is initially empty, but offers a place where you can specify configuration properties. For example, Spring Boot starts on port 8080 by default. If you want to change the server port, you can write server.port equals 80. Then the next time we start this project, Spring Boot will no longer start on port 8080, but will start on port 80. You can also specify database connections, username and password of the database. You can define any properties that you do not want to hard code in your source code in this application.properties file. Static. This folder is where you can place any static content that you want to serve to the browser. For example, images, style sheets, JavaScript, and so on. It is initially empty. Templates. This folder is where you will place template files that will be used to render content to the browser. It is initially empty, but you can add time leaf templates in this folder. Under test Java, there is a test class. Spring Boot Hello World application tests. This is a simple test class that ensures that the Spring-based application contest loads successfully. We will add some tests to this package later on in Hogwarts Artifacts Online project. The target folder houses all output of the Maven build. Since we just started our project, this folder is generated. Dot git ignore file. This file specifies intentionally untracked files that git should ignore. For example, 
Don't track anything related to IntelliJ IDEA. Don't track the generated bytecode under target folder. MVNW and MVNW.command. These are Maven wrapper scripts. You can use these scripts to build your project even if you don't have Maven installed on your machine. The MVNW file is for Linux, Bash, and the MVNW.command is for the Windows environment. Last but not least, palm.xml. This is the Maven build specification. We will look deeper into this in a moment. I hope now you have a clear understanding of the Spring Boot project structure.